Mississippi's new state flag is flying over the state capitol. Governor Tate Reeves signed it in the In God We Trust flag bill into law. 12 News' is Gary Burton attended that signing ceremony. He joins us now in studio. Gary? Before signing the new flag bill, Governor Tate Reeves reflected on the year 2020, calling it a hard, isolating, and divisive year. But today, with history being made, he says this new flag is something we all should be proud of. House Bill number one is law. The process of removing the state flag that held the Confederate battle emblem began last year. As of January 11, 2021, with all nine members of the state flag commission present, Governor Tate Reeves put pen to paper, making way for a new state flag. When many looked at our former flag, they just saw a symbol of the state and heritage they loved. But many felt dismissed, diminished, and even hated because of that flag. Governor Reeves says to have people feeling this way is not a firm foundation for the state of Mississippi. He spoke on unity before signing the bill to replace the flag that's flown in the Magnolia State since 1894. It is done with the hope that we can work together, that we can put aside our differences, that we can be neighbors in this state and in this country. Today is a great day for the start of Mississippi. The 62nd governor of Mississippi, Ronnie Musgrove, says removing the former state flag took way too long. To live in a state where the flag does not represent you or who you are is a disappointment. It also holds the state back from moving forward. Mississippi was the last state in the country whose flag included the Confederate emblem. And after signing the bill, the governor headed to the state capitol where one large In God We Trust flag was raised and then lowered. That specific flag will turn over to the two Mississippi museums and three others will fly above the state capitol. For 12 News, I'm Gary Burton. Back to you.